the core of the play, as well as the love story, it's this kind of silly band, a rubber band thing in the middle that's pulling the older generation, the younger generation apart. And at the same time, in the middle of this rubber band is a couple of people who've decided to surpass the violence, surpass the hatred and be together. And unfortunately, when the rubber band stretches and pings back, they're pinned in opposite direction and we all know that this play has a miserable, miserable, tragic end. We're halfway through rehearsals and today we've been working on a few Capulet scenes so um, when he, Lord Capulet comes in and tells Juliet she has to marry Paris. It's still a really, really exciting time before Tech Week because the actors are discovering things on a daily basis and it's quite, it's, it's still really, really fresh and there's loads of choices to be made. We've been doing some of the fight sequences which are really exciting. We've just got the roundabout in um, for the first time ever um, which it's really exciting because we choreographed lots of stuff around the idea that it might be able to move and stuff. And then we put this massive, big kind of bit of set in the middle and everything's had to change. I was always really, really keen to have the choreographer of the dance and the fight choreographer the same person because often you get someone to do the fights and you get someone to do the dancing. But because in this play, the love and hate element, the courtship and the violence go so t close together. I wanted one vision for both. The way we've worked here is uh, we're using foam weapons which allows them a certain freedom uh, to experiment and play, uh, if you like, an organic choreography, as opposed to just saying this is what you do, this is what the move is. We definitely choreograph everything that appears on stage so there's no freedom of movement once the play is going. But to start with, we're finding out how everyone wants to move and what weapon they would like to use. Um, the movement itself, obviously it's choreographed, uh, and the weight of the weapon is acted out. Because we are storytellers, we're not fighters stepping into a ring. The Revolve makes it very exciting, uh, because there's no stationary floor upon which to work. So the actors have to be very aware of where they're going, how it's moving, and can we use it or can we make it effective? But it's, that, it's those tensions between conforming uh, and anarchy, between love and hate, between old and young, and between sort of suppressing your emotions and carpe diem living for the moment. All these tensions are at the centre of the play and what I'm trying to do and what we're trying to do with the actors is to highlight all these different rubber bands pulling in different directions. And then what we're going to do is we're going to let all these rubber bands go and there's going to be an explosion in the middle. 